a 14-year-old middle school girl from Tokyo's district is still missing. Her disappearance was reported one week ago, on the 22nd of this month. The police believe there is a possibility that she has been kidnapped. The investigation is still ongoing. Hey! They're talking about me on the news! Hmm, but it is true that I kidnapped you. way. You're just protecting me from my parents. Which is kidnapping. I'm a stranger, and you're kidnapper nonetheless. Why do you trust me? Well, one of your walls is full of pictures of me. You wouldn't dare touch a hair on my head since you're so smitten. They were taken without your consent, you know. I just confessed my sins. We just want to see our daughter safe and sound. We're so worried that we can't sleep a wink at night. My parents, they're only saying that because they're being interviewed. They're the ones that gave me all these scars. How funny, right? I'm all over the news. Are you going to get arrested, mister? Only if the police find me. Would you like to play a game? A game? Yeah! A game where we have to run away from my parents and the police! If we manage to run away, then we'll get married! And what if we don't? Then we'll die together if the time comes. You'd be arrested, and I'd be forced to live with my parents again. We're much better off dead, aren't we? I see. You do have a point. I'll do my best, so that we can get married. We'll get away. We'll definitely get away. I'm getting hungry. I'm going out to get some stuff from the supermarket. Is there anything you'd like to eat? I'll make it for you. You're letting me pick? Yep. Uh, okay, I want a Salisbury steak, fried chicken, and curry! That's a lot. Can you eat all that? But I mean, this is the first time in my life that someone's going to cook just for me! A hamburger steak, fried chicken, and curry, right? I got it. Well, I'm going out now. Ignore the doorbell if it rings. It's dangerous, after all. Okay. See you later. See ya. Kill myself if my parents or the police find me. Or marry my kidnapper who I only met yesterday. There must be something wrong with me. <laughs> This room shows that Mr. Obviously isn't normal. That much even I can tell. I wonder when he took these. I never noticed someone was taking pictures of me. But... No matter what this is... This is still the first time in my life... That anyone has told me they love me. How determined was he when he said those words? I want to know. I don't have high hopes though. He might decide to turn himself in, or he might even decide to kill me, but 
Having a homemade meal? Seems like a lot of fun. She's really in my room. I don't know how to make her feel more at home. I can't keep my poker face on forever. It's already strange enough that there's a girl in my room. She really has no intentions of escaping. I installed a surveillance camera, just in case. I didn't intend to kidnap her. I just thought that I would be able to stop stalking her if I knew she hated me. I kidnapped her, thinking that she would hate me. But she... She was grateful towards me. I'm the one that can't keep up with this situation. Handcuff marks. Must have been her parents. Get married or die, eh? Perhaps she made that suggestion to me, her kidnapper, because that's how far she's given up on her life. We're the same in that sense. The police? Oh, it's just for shoplifting. Are they looking for witnesses? Hmm? Don't panic. He just happened to look in my direction, right? Hey, you! Can I see your bag? Oh, of course. I guess he mistook me for a shoplifter. Seems like I was mistaken. Sorry for wasting your time. Not a problem at all. This is just me talking. But you should hold your head up high if you don't have anything to hide. Yes, sir. But I am. Hiding something. There are many security cameras out here. And many people, too. Every step I take may lead to be my last. I didn't think I'd be so nervous around the police. And then I realized... I'm now a bona fide criminal. I'm back. Welcome home! I wanted to save room for your cooking, so I didn't even drink a drop of water! Please drink water if you're thirsty next time. You must be starving. I'm sorry for taking so long. I'll start cooking right now. Really? Yay! <sighs> what a relaxing smile. Mister! I want to help with dinner too! Huh? Oh, you can cut the veggies for me? Got it! Wait! Why are you holding the knife like that? Miss, isn't this uncomfortable? I like this. Besides, you wanted to teach me how to use the knife, mister. You're right. But how do I say this? Shouldn't you keep your guard up around me? Well, of course I would. Until we get married, at least. I won't do that before marriage, no matter how much you pressure me. That's not what I meant. Oh, you're no fun. You're always so stoic with your replies. Hold on! Am I not attractive enough for you because I'm only 14? That's enough. You'll cut yourself if you don't pay attention. We're a girl and her captor. That's the relationship we're in. Through casual conversation, we're slowly breaking the ice while clouding our eyes. That's how we're running away from our reality. We don't try to uncover each other's true motives. That's our unspoken agreement. That's why, back then... Then we'll die together if the time comes. I didn't make her a pinky promise. Don't mind if I dig in! Delish! You're really good at cooking, mister! Thanks. Aren't you going to eat, mister? It's really tasty! I'll eat after you. I bought pudding for dessert, too. Really? <laughs> so eating is supposed to be a happy thing. You know, this is the first time I've eaten on proper plates at home. My parents always tossed my meals on the floor. But who cares about my own home, right? <laughs> hey, mister. May I look forward to every meal? Of course. Thank you. Ever since that day, I thought all meaning in life was gone. But now... I think I'll live for her sake. I'll live for her as long as she needs me. Even if that's not how she truly feels.
We are currently at the site of her disappearance. The police are still actively investigating the case. The news... It's all about me lately. There probably isn't a more interesting topic at the moment. She vanished while on her way back from school. Hey, mister. Hmm? Say my name. You never once called me by that since I got here. Your name? Sure. Ma ah, hold it! Give me a new name, mister. Huh? I'm going to throw away the name my parents gave me. And I'll live by the new name you give me from now on. I'm not good at naming. Don't worry. Since you're giving me a name, it'll be extra special no matter what. A name? Hmm. Uh... Oh, I have one. What name? What name? Uh... Sachi, taken from the kanji of happiness. In hopes that you may find yours. So sorry. Forget that one. See, I told you I wasn't good at naming. That's a wonderful name! My name will be Sachi from now on! Come on, mister! Say my name! Sure thing, Sachi. That's me! Sachi. Sachi! I wonder if he'll eventually call me Sachan. Speaking of which... What is Mr.'s name anyway? Uh, did you use this to take pictures of me? Oh, yeah. Huh, it looks pretty pricey. Hey, Sachi. Yep, that's me! Well, uh, it's about the pictures. You're so accepting of that. It's really surprising for me. Look around this room. Doesn't it disgust you? Well, of course it did at first, but... Sachi's just happy that there's someone out there that loves her... THIS MUCH! I see. I know what Mr. was trying to say. Is this how Sachi truly feels? The only reason didn't ask that is because it doesn't matter what my answer is. Not in our relationship. Hmm? Sachi's not in this picture. Oh, that's... Sunset? Do you like sunsets, mister? Hmm, I don't like them. That beautiful sunset reminds me of the past. But I feel I shouldn't forget that day. So, that's why it's on the wall. Past? I don't know anything about Mr. But I do know that something happened in his past. Sachi doesn't like sunsets either. Because it was always time to go home when I saw it. But after I came here, I've started to like them a little more. I didn't think sunsets could be this beautiful. I only realized thanks to you, Mr. So, that's why I think... This world's beauty is in the eye of the beholder. If my parents were kinder, I'm sure that I wouldn't have hated the sunset. But I wouldn't have come to like it either. Nor would I have chosen Mr. over my parents. That's why I think even bad memories have their purpose. But I suppose it's better to have less of those. <laughs> Sachi? Hmm? Are you really 14? Rude! Well, your way of thinking is quite mature, so... R really So you're saying I'm not cute? Oh no. That was a compliment. Pat my head more! Huh? It's the first time anyone's ever done that! What I'm about to say... Good girl. ...is partly something I want to tell myself. I know I chose to live with Mr. I want to tell myself that everything's going to be alright, because I truly think that... The view of the sunset from this room is breathtakingly beautiful. Let's print this out and stick it on the wall! Huh? From now on, let's fill the wall with pictures of us, and we'll use these for our wedding reception. 
<laughs> What's with that? Sure. You always look like you're having fun, Sachi. Our relationship is twisted. Even so, I'll pretend that I haven't noticed. Say cheese! If there's even a slight moment of happiness that I spent in the small room, then I want to cling on to it. 